an agroeconomic engineer and a PhD student in International Water Research Institute within University of Mohammed VI Polytechnic. So, during our PhD journey, we do participate in international conferences. My last one was held in Dubai from the 26th to the 28th February about water resources management, sustainability, solutions for arid and semi-arid regions. So, uh, the, the conference revolved around exploring innovative approaches in scientific advancements of uh, water management. And uh, at the conference, I presented my work about navigating farmers' perceptions about uh, water salinity and water scarcity and their adaptive strategies. My presentation was honored with the best presentation award in the conference. I also had the opportunity to assist to many other interesting topics and research works in uh, water management and water economics. I also earned um, a network with interested individuals in uh, water and economic communities. So now I will share with you like uh, a few introduction, um, introduction about water in Morocco. So as we know, uh, uh, Morocco has passed from water stress to water scarcity in the past few decades due to the successive years of drought. And this has impacted the Moroccan economy across various sectors, and especially agriculture, because it's the first consumer of water with more than 80%. This is more problematic because that agriculture is a major contributor to the Moroccan GDP with 30%, and to the share of employment with 30 percent. Uh, so this limitation in water availability would lead to a decrease in productivity and lead to farmers' income losses, especially uh, small-scale ones with a limited capacity to adapt. So in that context, Morocco have made many efforts to deal with water scarcity. Uh, for example, uh, the construction of dams, uh, the focus on new technologies like water desalinization, but still Morocco needs uh, Morocco need to develop other things like uh, like uh, wastewater treatment for irrigation purposes, uh, raising awareness among farmers for the efficient use of water, especially that agriculture is the major consumer with more than 80 percent, and uh, also using remote uh, remote sensing data for water uh, for uh, extreme weather events like floods and droughts and also water shed management and uh, that's it thank you for having me today